Entrepreneurs dream. Entrepreneurs change. I love Taikon. Entrepreneurs inspire. Taikon returns for its 23rd conference as it focuses on the changing dynamics of innovation in 2016. Hi everyone, this is Kavita for Satare TV. I'm at Taikon 2016, the largest entrepreneurs conference in the world. It's here again at the Santa Clara Convention Center in Silicon Valley. This year's theme is Dream, Change and Inspire. One of the most important things the conference features is the Thai 50 Awards. Of course, there's lots of youth here, lots of women entrepreneurs, which is great to see. And again and again, we're having more and more women become entrepreneurs. There's a networking app this year, a media lounge, which is much grander than last year. And of course, the fabulous evening entertainment. This two-day conference is happening. Let's take a look at what's happening inside. Harbi, the Tycon TV Media Lounge has been excellent. It's been excellent actually for us as media and also for, uh, you know, you guys have done a great job at bringing people in and scheduling appointments for us. It makes our work smoother. We're not running around the whole conference trying to catch people. We're just right here and people come to us. It's great. Uh, what's inspired this whole program? That's a um, nice way to ask that. What was the inspiration behind it? I guess for me, creating awareness is just a central part of who I am. I love bringing awareness to great ideas, great speakers, and great learnings that others can you know, take away from. And for that reason, and having some media background, I realized, you know, why don't we give a chance for all our partners who are really wanting to be committed? And we're so glad to have partners like Sandare to be a part of that team to really help spread the message. I mean, our entrepreneurs don't get that platform. They don't know how to get in front of media, get access to media, and we want to make it easy for our partners to have access to such great content like the newest ideas, maybe the next Apple guy is going to be one of our entrepreneurs, or one of our speakers is going to share a message that's going to inspire the, the audience all around the world like your viewers. So for that reason, we were like, you know, we should make something like that for ourselves. So we have VC Connect, we have Mentor Connect, and this is for us, our Media Connect. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Could you please introduce yourself to our viewers? For sure. My name is Arash Asli. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and Co-Founder of a company named YoCal out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Hi everyone. I'm here with Arash. He is with YoCal and we're at the Tycon Conference. Arash, tell me a little bit about your company. Sure. The name of our company, like you said, is YoCal. YoCal means your locale or your neighborhood. Um, our goal is to create a destination, a platform for local consumers to be able to meet their uh, local businesses, any appointment-based business. So think of it as uh, you know a platform where people can go and search for various different uh, services-based business, like a hair salon, a chiropractor, an accountant, a painter. You know, uh, anyone that's appointment-based business, uh, be able to find out what their real-time availability is and be able to directly book appointments with them with one username and password. So kind of like uh, we do what Open Table does for Open Tables, but for open appointments. That's amazing. I can't wait to book my next hairstylist through your company. How's your experience at Tycon been so far? Uh, great. Uh, it was, it's our first time attending uh, from our companies, myself and my CTO, Mr. Ehab Sami. And uh, you know there were some great uh, keynote speakers, uh, quite a number of people from around the world, which is phenomenal, and great networking opportunity and this media lounge is amazing. Absolutely, and based on your experience, is there any feedback that you can give to Tycon that they can do to improve next year? Um, I probably have to wait till tomorrow uh, to <laughs> maybe give some feedback, but uh, I think in general, no, so far, uh, things have been really good, actually. Yeah. So far, so good. It's been a great conference. Well, it was a pleasure having you on the show. It was Thank great you. to meet you. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much. My name is Solomon Darwin, Executive Director for the Center for Corporate Innovation at the University of California, Berkeley. I'm here with Solomon Darwin. He is a professor at UC Berkeley, teaching a course about how to build smart cities, and he was also a keynote speaker here at Tycon. How are you doing, Solomon? Very good, thank you very much. Welcome to Satare TV and welcome to Tycon. Could you tell us a little bit more about the courses that you're teaching at UC Berkeley? Yes, uh, currently I'm teaching um, uh, two courses. Um, I just finished one, Building uh, Smart Cities, uh, Leveraging Open Innovation, uh, focused on India, uh, cities that uh, President Obama and uh, President Modi, uh, Prime Minister Modi, have selected 
uh, as the, the first cities to, to be the prototyped. Um, then I also teach another, this semester, or this summer, I'm teaching a course in building smart villages where 70% of our population in India live. That's very impressive and I think everyone here is incredibly grateful that you are doing something back, you know, back to India. Could you tell me a little bit more about the, um, the, your keynote panel? Yes, uh, today's uh, keynote is about the dawn of smart cities. And um, I invited uh, on the panel um, uh, someone from Google um, to talk about connectivity, the Loon project that connects all the villages, gives uh, connectivity. It's, um, it's a part of Google X project. Uh, he was on the panel. We have a young lady from Cisco who is an expert on uh, digitalization, IoT. Uh, we also have uh, from the Indian government, uh, who is building the first smart city uh, in India, uh, with the inspiration of uh, the prime, uh, the ch uh, chief minister of Andhra Pradesh, um, Chandra Babu Naidu, J. Chaudhary was on the panel, talking about some of the challenges in building smart cities in India. Um, and then uh, we also had uh, Florian. Uh, he's um, he's a business model expert from a German company, RW and uh, he was giving us the disruptive business model view. It was a great panel and we had a very vibrant discussion, uh, but also a lot of uh, the pros and cons about the projects. That's, that's very interesting. I think with that, with that feedback, you're gonna do really well with your projects. Based on your experience at Tycon so far, is there any um, improvement that, or suggestions you can offer to improve for next year? Well, I haven't been here enough to uh, comment on that one, but I think it's a great gathering of uh, very uh, key people in the industry, and it's, uh, uh, I teach at Berkeley a course called Open Innovation. Uh, what Open Innovation is all about, uh, it simply says that knowledge is useless unless it flows. If it is sitting in the mind of someone or sitting on the balance sheet of some company, it's no good. Uh, it needs to flow so that it can create value for society that everyone benefits from it. And uh, Tycon is a place where that is happening. Knowledge is flowing, people are exchanging ideas, people are getting inspired, invigorated to do greater things and solve the grand challenges that are present in the world today. I think you brought up a great point. It's applied knowledge that is power. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you for being on the show. It was absolutely lovely speaking with you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Hello, we are in conversation with Madhu Rima. So tell me a little bit about, or actually let's start with the name of the company that you're representing. Sure, so I'm here with our helpmate and we actually just discovered last night that we are one of Thai 50 winners which That's wonderful. Great. Congratulations. Sorry. Thank you. Um, so tell us a little bit about what your company does. Oh yeah, absolutely. So our Healthmate is an online platform that lets Indian expats send home the gift of health. Now what we mean is, as an Indian expat, it lets you take care of your family members, healthcare, for those who are back in India. It's an online platform. You can log in, you can book and pay for specific healthcare checkups and get direct feedback, digitalized feedback from the doctors. So, you know, despite staying really far away, you are completely assured that A, your family member's going for the healthcare checkup. Mm -hmm. It's super convenient for them because of the service that we provide. And thirdly, you know exactly how, how they're doing. Typically, otherwise, they might not tell you and whatnot. Definitely. And you know what? There's about $10 billion that Indian expats send back every year just for healthcare. Wow. So we do believe it's something big that we are addressing at this point. Um, and how young is your company at this point? Oh yeah, um, we've been around for just about a year. Uh, what's interesting though is the traction that we are seeing. Uh, we have partnerships on the ground in India with over 15,000 doctors across 400 cities. That's 100 person coverage in each of the tier one, two, three cities. And on the payer side, we have about over 2,000 paying customers and nearly 200,000 in transaction value. So it's still early days, but we are very excited about the prospect that we see. 
That's amazing. And now we're here at TyCon 2016, um, and you mentioned earlier that you guys are one of the Ty 50 winners. Congratulations. Um, so tell us a little bit about, you know, what, your, what you experienced yesterday and what your expectation is for today. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, this whole TyCon experience or Ty 50 winner, if nothing else, it's just a big validation. And it's a lot of assurance to me as a co-founder to know that it's not just us, but so many other people around who think we are onto solving something big and we are onto the right path. Beyond that, I think what I really took away from yesterday and that I look forward to today is the connections. There, you know, there's Mentor Connect, VC Connect, whether it's people who are ready to advise you, people who are ready to connect you with someone else who's useful, I think that is the biggest value out of this. And I'm absolutely excited about the rest of the hours here. Wonderful, well thank you for joining us. Thank you. I'm here with a very special guest, J.A. Chowdhury, IT advisor and special chief secretary to the chief minister of the state of Andhra Pradesh. Welcome to Sitari TV. Thank you. Could you tell our viewers a little bit more about what brought you to Taikon 2016? Basically, I came to Taikon this time because Taikon uh, Silicon Valley is the hub of the Mecca for entrepreneurs and startup companies. And back in India, in the Digital India program and Digital Andhra Pradesh program, we are having a lot of smart city projects, a lot of IoT based pro pro uh, projects and a lot of data is getting generated because of uh, 1.3 billion population in India. Every application is generating uh, terabits, uh, petabits of data and uh, there's a lot of opportunities for the youngsters who are working in the digital technologies uh, in this area. I thought, I mean, it's a good opportunity for me to come and talk to these uh, budding entrepreneurs and uh, uh, give the opportunity for them to have access to the the growing market in India. Every state is talking about uh, digitalization and uh, smart city projects. And in fact, in our state uh, of Andhra Pradesh, not only the first smart city in Vishakhapatnam is coming up, and uh, out of the 100 smart cities, ours is the first uh, smart city. And companies like Cisco and all these IBMs of the world, they are already trying to partner with us and they want to develop some new uh, technology products in this uh, smart city uh, area. Apart from that, we are also setting up a greenfield capital, it's called Amaravati, where we want to use not today's technologies, but tomorrow's uh, latest technologies. Th that's going to be the, uh, the new Mecca for uh, any capital around the globe. That's kind of a uh, capital that uh, we, uh, our Chief Minister, uh, Mr. Chandrababu Naidu is trying to build. And these are the great opportunities for any startup company, particularly f from the Silicon Valley. We see, I mean, a uh, lot of uh, budding entrepreneurs here looking for the markets. And India is the growing market. And our state, Andhra Pradesh, is the first market because penetrating any government business is not easy. And our chief minister, being a tech-savvy chief minister, he wants to enable these startup companies to have access to these projects so that they'll be able to succeed in their entrepreneurial journey. It's a win-win thing for them, win for the state uh, because we are introducing some of the latest technologies which have not happened world over. And for the startup companies, they are getting a business and we're also trying to give, get the funding, additional funding for this uh, startup. That's the reason why I'm here. I also uh, came here to represent Andhra Pradesh to talk on the uh, smart city panel. We just had a uh, panel discussion where I was one of the panelists because I want to tell the people that these are the opportunities are there uh, in Andhra Pradesh and please come and uh, I mean uh, so that I mean it's a, a kind of a win-win thing for the entrepreneurs and also for the state of Andhra Pradesh. That's really incredible. I can feel your sense of passion and your sense of pride for what you're doing for your state. Do you feel that you've met the connections and the network that you were looking for here at TyCon 2016? Yeah, Thai conferences are great conferences because uh, I don't think there is any networking conference uh, like TyCon. If you come here, even if you stand at one place, people will get networked automatically. That is the kind of uh, uh, the kind of uh, energy, the kind of uh, atmosphere, uh, vibrating up atmosphere uh, for the entrepreneurs. So ultimately, if anybody wants to succeed in their business, they have to connect all the dots. Even the dots, technology dot is there. Suppose if, if it doesn't have the marketing dot, if these two are not connected, you will not be able to succeed. So they have to come to this kind of a mecca for entrepreneurs where all these dots can be connected and everybody will be, I mean, uh, enjoying the 
uh, the kind of networking what happens here and definitely people like me who are from the government people like many entrepreneurs uh, who have got great technologies it's a kind of a, uh, a fusion of all these people for a great success I have to agree the energy is really infectious here and it's a great great place to be is there any feedback that you can offer to the Taikon panel to um, any suggestions you can give for next year sure my suggestion to Taikon though they're doing a uh, great job in bringing this uh, global conference here maybe next time they can do some uh, focus meetings B2B meeting, B2C meetings well in advance. Maybe so if Tricon is happening now, maybe one week before, if they can organize these uh, meetings who are all coming here, per, per, because they know that uh, these are all the people coming from venture capital world, from the uh, technology world, from the government world. If they can only bring them together and organize these one-on-one -on -one meetings, that will be more productive for the entrepreneurs, for the government officials, for the entire society. Thank you so much for your time and feedback. It was a pleasure Thank having you, you on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. This is Kavita for Satari TV, and today I'm at Tycon 2016. I'm speaking to Jillian Oaks from the greater Zurich area. Jillian, welcome to Satari TV, and welcome Thank to you. Tycon. Thank you so much. It's our first time here, and we've had a wonderful welcome at this point. Thank you. What is your company about? So we are the uh, regional investment promotion agency um, for the greater Zurich area of Switzerland. We're eight states of Switzerland and two cities and 25 private partners, and what are our ultimate goal is to wave the flag for why Switzerland's an attractive business location for worldwide companies who are trying to put a European footprint in place. And what are some of the activities that your company engages in? Mm -hmm. um, well, here in the markets, we do a lot of events like this. And um, we do one-on-one -on -one meetings and presentations. And we facilitate the introductions and connect the dots to partners, um, strategic suppliers, setting up an operation, what goes into that transitionally from site selection to staffing firms to real estate, um, as well as peer company introductions so that executives can have one-on-one -on -one conversations about what it's like doing business uh, in Switzerland and targeting pan-Europe. Wonderful. And what have you enjoyed so far about Tycon? I mean, this has uh, been an amazing day today. Yeah. Oh, man. The opportunity to meet such thought leaders has been fantastic in their um, specific and niche industries. Um, the excitement has been fantastic and the openness of everybody wanting to hear what's happening within, within our country of Switzerland and also um, share ideas and thoughts regarding uh, worldwide trends. Yeah. And tell me what is, of course, I mean, we know uh, Swiss banks and all that, but what is the economy that drives Switzerland? Um, we're very tech focused. Um, we have some of the highest investment from uh, R&D industry collaboration in the world. Um, we now have emerging industries. Historically, we've always been a life science center, biopharmaceuticals, medtech, as well as finance and insurance, like you said, the banks. But now we're seeing that merge with technology. So FinTech, um, Crypto Valley, Bitcoin, blockchain, um, smart textiles, wearable computing. Um, it's all have a very, it all has a very heavy tech focus because of the level of talent that's in Switzerland. You had mentioned that there's a lot of M&A activity with your company. What is going on as far as, I mean, whatever you can talk about. Oh, um, we, so we don't actually facilitate M&A, but if companies are looking to potentially enter the European market um, through a purchase and acquisition, um, we've seen that happen quite a bit in Switzerland. Okay. How large is the company, Greater Zurich area? Um, we're all in all, we have a, about a five person team here in the US, and we're probably worldwide 25 with the headquarters in Switzerland. But then we have our partners in each of the each of the states around Switzerland that are very hands-on approach. It's interesting because um, government does go hand in hand with industry. So if there's an issue, we try our very best to get involved and assist and, and support and make sure the companies who have set up in Switzerland really start to thrive. Yeah. So for the operations that are in the U.S. and the folks that are in the U.S., what is your goal for the coming year? Ooh, um, our U.S. team main goals, of course, we have certain number of targets and certain quality of, of companies we want to work with, but just to continue our biggest challenge is always just getting in front of as many people as possible with a small team. We're small but mighty, so that's always the target is to reach as many people as possible, which is why we really appreciate this opportunity to talk to all of you guys um, at home. Thank you so much, so much. Okay, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the highlights of Tycon 2016. These past two days, I've had the opportunity to meet bright minds from all over the world. I'll see you again next year at Tycon 2017. Reporting from Santa Clara, this is Kavita for Satare TV. Sitar.